Your wise man knows his streams is one of weaknesses, and he makes his weaknesses strong. You know what I'm saying? Yo, die, what's the deal, baby? Yo, it's the nature of things. Time brings change. It's strange how we once was kings, now move dope through veins. So I look to the pathway which leads beyond. Two roads to choose, one right, one wrong. The source corresponds like words and songs. I'm at one with the stars as this earth revolves. Ungodly visions leads the path of prison from the priest of the thief. Now where lies the vision? I'm caught in the crossroads of search of direction. Not able to recognize the face of my reflection. Future looking bleak, it's all so dark. A wise man once told me, follow your heart. For the truth lies deep in the pain beneath. Under the wounds and the grief that consume the weak. See the only guarantee in this life, son, is death. Every day you alive, you was put to the test. Cherish your breath. God only knows how many left for death. Walks among us and is taking the best. What's up, bro? What up, bro? Oh, man. What's up, big time? You're a lifesaver, man. Oh, come on, man. I don't know what's up with this Uber, but they can't find my way. I don't know. Yo, I know how I go, man. It happens a lot, man. Our drivers always cancel on us. That's why I'm here now anyway, man. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny, too. They charge me. I know they charge me. Uh, but I think if you hit the, um, if you email them or whatever, they get back to you and, you know, change that up. All right, I'm going to have to um, get the secretary on that. Exactly, exa exactly. Uh, Those thousand cents start to add up. Oh, man, every penny <laughs> count, brother. <laughs> Are we going to the office? Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, oh, let's, uh, let's go towards the city, Empire State Building. Oh, okay. It should pop up in the, um, in the map. Yep. Came up, man. So how's everything been, man? Oh, man, can't complain, man. Just try to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I know you made a lot of dollars, you know, <laughs> out of a lot of 15 cents. Hey, know? listen, man, I'm just trying to keep it nice and normal. You know, keep it nice and normal. That way you keep everything in perspective. You know, you used to blow everything out of proportion. You get all your brain and your mind gets all confused and you're getting all souped in the head and you can't, you know, relate to, to, to the average folks. You know what I mean? Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, when we when we have so much success, we get caught in our own little, little, little web and get in our own way. I'm not trying to be like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing about you, man. I mean, you're always personable. You know, I see you in the hood doing things for the community. And that's one thing, you know, I always admire what you guys, man. Yeah, you know, actually, it's funny. The reason why I'm over here, because I just want to kind of, sometimes you want to sit back and reflect and recharge your battery and remember where you started from. You know, that, Oh, that was the house, right? That was the house. That where it all house. started. That's where it all started. That was actually where it all started. So. You know, wait, wait. You know what? Let me back up for a second, man, because, you know, it's no mistakes in the universe. <laughs> and, and I was going to tell you this anyway. Um, I was going to ask you this, rather. Um, you know, remember I was telling you about, you know, we did the documentary for the youth, right. for the African American, yeah, Latino yeah, yeah. Youth. How'd that go? Yeah, it went great, man. So I um, heard back from my guy, um, Aaron Barnett, over at the Eagle Academy for mm -hmm. Young Men. Mm -hmm. So um, you know that's the school that David Banks founded. Right. But pretty much, we got a date for Black History Month. Okay. So um, I think it's going to be like the third week. I think that's the twenty third. But right. um, I want to know if you're free because I would love for you to be able to come down and speak to the kids. Man. All right. I mean, that sounds good. I, I I'd have to look at the calendar to make sure. Okay, you know, and right. if, if I can move something around, that um, hopefully I can move something around. If if I am, if not, you know, I'm definitely open to do that. You know, I love you. Got to love the kids. Exactly. You know? And then your message, man, is just so empowering. Like, I remember before, man, I know you was telling me the story about, you know, when you guys got started. Mm -hmm. Now, I know with so many struggles and, <laughs> I mean, struggles. but it was one in particular where you was telling me about um, as far as the house or I know you gave us uh, when you guys thought it was going to happen and mm -hmm. it didn't happen. I mean, can you elaborate on that a little more, man? Because well, I was trying to tell the kid well, the other day. You know, you know what it is? Uh, when we first started, you know, it's funny. It's four of us. So with, them, with it being four of us, I mean, we all have our different viewpoints of what we wanted to do in life and what we didn't want to do in life or, or whatever. My aspiration was always to be in fashion. Mm -hmm. So with that, you know, I took, I took, you know, I took a, a, a course, you know, and the course I took was to take these guys with me and say, listen, you guys want to be in fashion too. Mm -hmm. So I, I say that to say, because Keith, in, in the beginning, he, went, he was in, um, Keith was in real estate. Okay. Damon was a waiter, and Carl 
Carl was, I don't even know what Carl was doing. Carl was just getting, you know, any odd job that he had that he could do, he was right. doing, you know what I mean? Right, right. Um, so, so it was really my, you know, my, my vision, my vision not even necessarily vision because you know I, I was young you right. know when you're young and you just you know you're trying to do something you don't really know what you're trying to do because you know the the, the, the path hasn't been been provided for you yet mm-hmm. so you make you move every move you make you know you're like okay is this the right move is that the right move whatever i mean that becomes your faith and where you where you're being led to right um, so to fast forward it to 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 the problems or to when we kind of figure out how this was this was really going to work, um, you know we tied up with a company called Samsung, um, and Samsung was a distribution company. Okay. So so when we when we got that deal, we were able to take our clothes and and and, and get it out to all the masses. When you get out to all the masses, now all of a sudden. Everybody and anybody can has has the ability to get these clothes. Right. And it looked, you know, the company looked bigger than what it was at that point. Plus, we also had the the you know, the Mr. LL Cool J, oh, um, you know, as a spokesperson. That brilliant. was, I mean, that that helped, you know. And then the, the things that we did as far as marketing was, you know, ingenious. But you know, you guys for our was time. everywhere. But you know, we looked like we were everywhere. We right. weren't really everywhere. We were almost everywhere. Right. You know, and in theory, it just we was in the right places. So it's not okay. it's not necessarily everywhere. It's just, if you were in the right store at the right time, with the right price, with the right marketing scheme. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so everything, everything has to line right. up. You right, know, you just right. can't. You know, a lot of times you look at now. You, you know, you start telling people. You, you know, people start telling you that they, how telling you that they could do it, and honestly, they won't be able to do it. Mm-hmm. No one. I don't think anyone will be able to do what we did because one, as far as timing, there's not the stores that you used to have. Right. Uh, that's not. You don't get the credit that you used to have as far as credit to be able to buy the goods that you used to have. Okay. Right. You know, right, so the right, right. economy is different. There's a whole mm-hmm. the different dynamics that are totally different. In that in the end, you know, you'll never be able to do what we did. But what happens now on these millennials, with these millennials, they'll discount the fact that oh, we do uh, that. That's nothing. You know, they'll look at what they do. They'll, they'll mess around and have a website with four T-shirts on it, and then look at Fubu and look and go, oh, what's that? That's nothing. That's right. played out. Well, you were never played in. Yeah, you know, it's so crazy, man. Uh, I was having a conversation the other day, and maybe somebody like you can really explain this to me. And, mm-hmm. you know, this is something that's going on in our community. Like, you know, you, you know, I'm blessed that, you know, you're my friend and I can, you know, be able to call you for business advice right. and things of that nature. But you guys are legends. And it seems like in the African American community, when you have somebody like you, I mean, you should have. I mean, you're a rubric. You did it in a time where, you know, where, you where, paved the let's, way. Let's just say this. I did it in a time where right. we we had to create our our um, our uh, uh, catalogs right. with markers. Right. Like, I had to literally draw in all the colors with a marker. Wow. Before we went to Magic, then go to the copier and make a bunch of copies and then take that and that's our catalog. Now all you got to do is press a button and the, on and Photoshop done. Illustrator, and it's done. So why why do you think that now a, a, a youth or up and coming, inspiring, you know, um, person that wants to get into um, the clothing or designing, why would they say, oh, what you're doing is old school? Like I said, you should be looked up as a giant, a, le- a legend. But I mean, I find that in music too. I, Our I, legends, I, we say that's old school, whereas yeah. other et- uh, ethnic backgrounds, they pretty much praise, and these right. people can come out and sell out concerts. Right. And and they never go out of style. Right. Why, why is that with us? You things know, get played out. Because, you know, everybody wants to be that person. Mm. Everybody's somebody, but nobody's anybody. Very I'm going to say it again. Everybody's somebody, but nobody's anybody. Wow. Explain that a little bit. Because everybody wants to be somebody. Everybody wants to be on top. If you, if, It's a simple concept. If you're driving down and we get to the toll booth, right? Mm-hmm. You see a, three lines. You see one line that's short, one line that's ha- half, 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 I guess halfway long, right. and half, half longer than the other. Right. Which one, why is it two, two long lines and one short line or almost no line? And everybody, you know what I mean? Because everybody's following each other, and, and if you want to follow, you want to follow to get to the top. Or right. get to, why does everyone rush to the to the to the light? Right. 
I mean, you know, we have so much built-in anger from uh, with us, you know, not to not because we aren't we we aren't where we want to be, right? Or we see where we want to be because we see that someone else is there already, right? And right. that's all we don't know, and we don't want to take the steps to get there. Yeah, that microwave generation, man. We want everything right now. We don't want to put in the work to do it. Right. I just don't understand that, and that's a trait of our people. And like I tell people, you know, when I was doing the book last year, the only place you start on the top is digging yourself a hole. Mm -hmm. Everything else, you start at the bottom and you build block by block, brick by brick. Right. Very interesting, though, man. But um, so I know you're doing a lot of things now. I, know I was talking to you. You know, you got the hair thing going on. You got the hotels. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it like, again. I try to make a dollar fifteen cent. Man. Like how? Like <laughs> how do you do these different things? Is it just like one template that you follow, or does it go by industry? Like how do you make it work? Um, you know, business is business. You know, it's the same fundamental practices that you use and the same principles that you use in any business you know it's it's marketing it's branding it's promotion it's it's you know finance it's 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 a whole bunch of things that you will have to have an order so no matter what you what you put in front of me I'll be able to 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 take it to the next level mm -hmm. because you have to understand the fundamentals of, I understand the fundamentals of business. Right, apply those same principles. You know, principles. you apply those same principles and in the end, you you know, you almost always will, will prosper. Mm -hmm. De definitely. What would be your advice to a young up and coming entrepreneur that wants to get into this world? Well, know what you want to do and know that's what you want to, and when I say know what you want to do, I mean that in, the, in a, a, a wider scheme. Because not everybody's built for that. Just because you see that, that, in, in, that somebody's making millions of dollars off of selling hammers. Everybody wants to go sell hammers now. Right. You're not built to sell hammers. You may be built to, to create hammers. You may be built to, to, to put them together. I, I, you know, whatever. Right. You right. know, and and the people don't they don't see their in, look into the inside and see what they what God has ordained them to be or to do. Mm -hmm. They just look for what's pop what's popular, what's present, what's the move, mm -hmm. what's lit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we can go on and on and on with well, the word the is out of the <laughs> Whatever the word is 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 it, it is. Right. You know, that's what everybody wants to do or be. And you have to you have to look into yourself and see what you want to do because honestly. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to make a dime for the first year, year and a half anyway. Mm -hmm. Who wants to put up with all that? Right. That's true. So you have to have an entrepreneurial spirit. You have to, to, to have some stick to itiveness. And, and I, I say that, I say that with the, you know, not necessarily with the grain of salt, with, with, with much impact, because if you can't stick to it. When the times are hot, rough, mm -hmm. you're never gonna get past the rough times. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, okay, man, this is not working, it's not working, I'm gonna stop. Right. And that's what happens to a lot of people in business. They, you start it and you stop it. Right. You know? It's just like a boxer. The, the first time you get knocked out or knocked down, all of a sudden I don't wanna box anymore. Right. But actually, that makes you better. Mm hmm. The adversity. Yes. So speaking of adversity, man, because you know, you're exactly right. People, they want everything here and now. They don't want to put in any work or they want, especially our community, uh, we want to um, copycat. And mm -hmm. then if we can't do that, we just want to take. We don't want to build. What would be one of the stories or one of the things that you guys overcame? And you're like, look, man, I don't know if we can get over this. But when you did, that sort of was the aha moment. Honestly, bro, we didn't have to, uh, I can't really recall any stories. Everything ran so, to me, right. and from my vantage point, ran or according to God's plan or to a plan. Mm -hmm. So I don't look at those situations, so I can't really recall those situations that anything just went wrong because everything went right in the end of a, with a billion, I'm in, I'm in billion dollars in sales. Right. Well, how could, what did I do wrong? Right. You know? Right. You don't have to do something wrong to succeed, and I think that the books, these the books, and 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 these these uh, uh, 
you know, guys that go out and, and teach you motivational speaking and, well, I mean, motivational speaking, I should say. You know, those guys tell you to do that, to keep them themselves going in the end. But a lot of times it doesn't have to be that way. Right. Because I look at a problem it's not a that's not a problem. I look at a problem as that's just not a way to way to do it. I learned mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if, if we keep going down that line of well, what happened, what happened, what happened, then we can never turn the corner and look at problems a, as a, as a as a good thing versus a bad thing. You know, it's so interesting you say that, and um, I think you know the great minds definitely think alike because uh, Albert Einstein he said he never failed at anything right. he just found 999,000 right. ways that something didn't work right now think about this right. now if he goes off and teaches a class and and he could teach a class and tell you well that didn't work but what worked what happened with that or what happened after that mm -hmm. like if he mm -hmm. used this this happened and it burns now he learned that if you use I'm just making something up sulfate and and, and, and burn it with, and put it together with peroxide, right, it right. makes this type of reaction. I'm right, whatever. Right, I'm not right, a scientist. Okay, well, quote though, that, huh? though, though I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, well, I claim to be. Right. You know what I mean? But, but um, I say all to say, <coughs> he learned that that is not that that how, what happens with that process. Mm -hmm. You know, I I if I if I put together two fabrics, and then and 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 I found out that okay, that doesn't work, but. That may be, that may have came out, now next time I may do, in the fall, I may use that for something in the winter. Right, You right, know, because it's, exactly. it's just too heavy for the spring. All right, great, now I got my new design for, for next fall. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's how you have, if you look at things that way, you, you, you won't, one, you won't be depressed. Two, you'll be happy. <laughs> you'll be happy about what you're doing because you're not looking at the faults and all the problems and everything. It's like, oh my God, and it weighs you down. You can keep your mind open to think more positive thoughts. Great point, great point. Um, because that's true, man, because a lot of times we look at things and I know people have such a difficult time accepting change. Yes, yes. But the only consistent thing is change. But what you're saying is, Sometimes things are what they are, but we just gotta look, change the way we're viewing it. Change the way you're viewing it. It's right. a perspective of how you view it. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times mm -hmm. I say to myself, it's not a problem unless you're working on it. I may have a thousand problems, but you know, if I'm not working on it right now, why should I be focused on it in my mind and, and, and bringing me down or me worrying and everything, you know what I mean? Right now, I couldn't have this conversation because I'd be sitting there worrying about the problem that I gotta have as soon as I get back. Right. Yeah, and it blocks them. And it blocks you. Mm -hmm, so you can't you can't go down you know, in the right path. So it's just a case if you're arguing or you or you're upset or you're yelling or whatever. You know, you can't have a a, a, a good conversation and you can't get anywhere if you're sitting there arguing. That's true. It's the same principle. That's true.